Welcome back. Not long ago, we would have balked at the idea of 3D printed body parts, but it's no longer science fiction. 17-year-old cancer survivor Asha is now up and moving again thanks to a 3D implant in her leg that's regrowing her bone. It's truly incredible what they can do. Look, Asha's been nothing short of spectacular. Looking at her, you'd never know the struggles Asha Morris has been through. The short hair, a subtle sign, she's a fighter. We've sort of found all the blessings in amongst the what was happening and, and I think we just went, well, we're just fighting. Now the 17-year-old is a medical marvel, the second patient in the world to have a 3D printed implant in her leg to help regrow her own bone. The fact that this really is the way of the future and I'm a part of that, it just makes me feel I think incredible. It was October 2019 when Asha started to get pains in her lower leg. I said, I think we need to do something about this because I'm, I'm really not sure what it is and I'm actually a bit worried now. Within a week, she was admitted to the Queensland Children's Hospital. Her mum, Lucy, shocked at the diagnosis. Biopsy confirmed that, yes, it was um, malignant, so it was cancer, and something called Ewing sarcoma, which is um, bone and tissue cancer. Asher, who was just 16 at the time, started chemotherapy almost immediately. It almost felt like there wasn't enough time to be, like, scared. The mass in her leg had to be removed, which included 16 centimetres of her tibia. You know, they did say that amputation was one of those, you know, three options. Another option was an experimental technique offered by Dr Michael Waggles. The surgery is called regenerative matching axial vascularization. It works by printing a 3D scaffold of a tibia bone. It's then wrapped in the patient's own tissue taken from a donor site. That provides a blood supply which helps the patient regrow their own bone. And it has the potential to make new bone. It just needs to be told where to grow, and that's where the scaffold comes in. Reuben Lichter was the first patient to undergo the procedure after contracting a bacterial infection in his leg. It's eaten through the entire bone, pretty much. Um, we're going to have to probably amputate it. And then they said, there is an option. Um, you know, the people at the PA are doing something that are uh, experimental. Now, nearly four years on, his tibia in his leg has regrown. So the bone's really strong. Um, can't hurt it now. It's like, it's solid. Um, yeah, and I walk around on it. I, you know, I do daily things on it. Reuben is forever grateful for the work of Dr Waggles and the team of Brisbane's Princess Alexandra Hospital. So grateful. <laughs> it's amazing the, the stuff that him and the team have done there. And that is still the biggest bone defect that's ever been successfully reconstructed in the world. For the Morris family, it was an easy decision. <laughs> Knowing that all of the other opportunities that would previously have been available to us were still available to us if this, this surgery didn't mm. work. The scaffold for Asher's surgery was printed by Australian Singaporean company Osteopore. It was then a gruelling 14 hour marathon surgery. I just have to sit and trust and go OK, what information do I have right now? That she's in somebody else's hands and she's asleep and they're working and they're doing what they are trained and amazing at doing. In the weeks after, doctors were amazed with Asha's progress. She was able to stand and even navigate stairs weeks before it was expected. I saw the look on her face when she looked up and realised that she was walking, you know, after having had this reconstructive procedure giving no guarantee of ever being able to walk again. Now, eight months on from the surgery, the teen surpassed all expectations. Recent scans show her bone is already starting to regrow. How does it feel to be the second person in the world to have this procedure done? Oh, I'm very, very proud to have this and I'm very... I'm proud of my scars um, and I'm proud that, you know, I got to experience this and meet, you know, Dr Waggles and his team. She can lightly weight bear on her leg. Her scars have healed and she no longer has to take any pain medications. One day, it might be years down the track, but one day I'll walk again and then dance again and run again. Last Christmas was spent near the hospital. This year it'll be at home with her sisters and family.
And your cancer is now in remission. You saying that I haven't, obviously I've heard people say that they're in remission, but we haven't really thought of it like that. So knowing that that is me, I'm in remission. Is, yeah. I like the sound of it. Next year, Asha will head back to school. She'll repeat year 11 after missing most of this year and now has a new goal of what she wants to do once she graduates. I want to pursue medicine and I know that because of this I really, really, really want to. It just seems like every day, every you know, watching my scars heal and the changes in my body. That's what gives me the greatest satisfaction. It's not really having done an operation or, you know, having having sti put stitches in the right place or see bone growing. It's uh, the impact that that has on the life of a human being um, and hopefully many more to come. Wow, just amazing. We wish Asha all the best as she heads back to school next year.